It's a big one. Get cracking client 9.9 is here with cloud patches, snoozing and pinning in your focus view and a few more things. But first, let's hear from Trevor of the Get Kraken product team. With the introduction of cloud patches, we're making it easy to collaborate as soon as you start working. By creating a cloud patch, your changes are securely stored so you can easily share code to get input early on in your work, rather than maybe waiting for a PR review to get any feedback. You can also create a cloud patch to help a teammate get started on a task, or even just create a cloud patch to save unfinished work that you don't want to commit and you'll be able to access it from any machine later on. This release represents just a start of cloud patches with more creation and sharing capability to come soon. To create a cloud patch from a WIP, select the WIP node at the top of the commit graph. From here, you may either create a cloud patch from your whole WIP, or you can create a cloud patch from your staged changes. Either way, hit the button to then name your cloud patch and once it's created, you can copy the cloud patch URL to your clipboard and send it to fellow Git Kraken client or GitLens users. When you receive a cloud patch, the patch details will show in the commit panel on the right, and you'll have the option to apply the patch to your working directory or choose another branch as the base to apply. Cloud patches are organized in the left panel under cloud patches where you can click to reapply any of the patches you create, and you can right-click on any cloud patch to access the link once again. This is an experimental feature, and you may toggle the feature on or off from Preferences Experimental. Stay tuned because we are planning to roll out more granular control of patch creation, like selecting specific files or hunks, and add multi-repo patch support in future releases. Next, we're making it easier to prioritize your to-do list by allowing you to pin or snooze pull requests, issues, or whips in your focus view. From the focus view, hover over any item to pin it to the top of the list. You can then hover over any pinned item to unpin. Similarly, you can snooze a pull request or issue to save it for later, and snoozed items will be grouped together under the snooze tab, and you can hover over a snoozed item to unsnooze it. Pretty nice, right? We have one more exciting update which we think will delight some of you. The Get Kraken Commit Graph is now much more configurable. Click on the gear icon to enable the compact view for a condensed commit graph. You may also now drag and drop to reorder any of the columns. And the commit graph will now show inline commit descriptions. The more configurable commit graph is an experimental feature that will be defaulted on and will be ultimately replacing the legacy commit graph. All right, lots of changes in this one, right? We have even more details about fixes and improvements in the full release notes, which we link to in the video description. And from all of us at Git Kraken, we hope you stay legendary.